Throughout my education, in public education, I've always had principles. I've had vice principles. And none of them have ever liked me. But that changed recently when I watched something. It was a series called Vice Principles. Principles in general are, are like the law of the land in education everywhere. They're the ones. They're basically controlling the entire castle or what I would call a school. But Vice Principles from HBO made me see them in a different light. Not only is this a dark comedy, it's from the mind of Danny McBride, Jody Hill, with a little bit of Walton Goggins in there. Now, if you don't know who Walton Goggins is, a lot of people know him from Justified. I know him from one of my favorite television shows of all time. It's one of the beast classic television shows. It is The Shield. And Walton Goggins is an amazing actor. A lot of people don't realize this. He's such a good actor, it's unbelievable. And Danny McBride is Danny McBride. Everything he's in is always funny. He's in a lot of funny stuff that you just want to watch. This is no exception. This is funnier than I think some of his older stuff. Like, Danny McBride's Eastbound and Down is funny, there's no doubt. But this is a gem. This whole, the whole, it's almost like war is now occurring. And his character of Gamby in Vice Principles, and he's so caught up with his own ego. It's such, and that's Danny McBride. He plays these characters so damn well. And then you have Russell, played by Walton Goggins, which is the preeminent, you would think he's gay, but he's actually not, because he's married, guy. And Walton Goggins played him so well. He's a pussy on the exterior, but he's so cunning and ruthless inside. He wants to see people burn. And I love that type of character because that reminds me of me a little bit. Just like that much. You burn me once, your house is going to be burned down. You burn me twice, well, I'm going to watch your whole life fall apart. And I'm going to take part in it. <laughs> you see, these characters merging together, forming a team to knock out the new principal because the old principal retired. That they, it was such a quick scene with Bill Murray, which was awesome to see him in this. He might have died. I don't, I don't know. Because I, I remember, I think I was doing something because it was the first episode, so I wasn't really... There's first episodes I never really watch. I kind of just taste. It's like, it's like coming up to a table and there's stuff you've never seen. I don't just dig in, right? I kind of just sample. Nah. And, and first episodes are always like that because you don't want you don't want to invest too much of your time into it because it could suck. But this entire season across the board was awesome. Every beat worked and it really, it was a growth of both characters. Whether it was Gamby, whether it was Russell, whether it was the actual pre principal that came in. She's this just unbelievable principal with all this background, she comes in and knocks out the ballpark. And I don't know who that actress is, but she killed it in this. And I'm telling you, they're always trying, they burn her house down, they do all kinds of crazy shit in the name of comedy, trying to ruin her life. And I'm not gonna ruin the end for you, but it ends on a sour note that you aren't expecting, especially in light of all types of events that happen regularly at schools. And it gave me a better respect of vice principals and teachers. Knowing that teachers are sleeping with each other, giving BJs in back rooms. First, I've, I've always thought that teachers were basically mindless zombies out to destroy a kid's life. This series makes you realize that maybe that's not it. Maybe that time when you caught Mr. John and Miss Harris in the locker room I know that they told you that they were missing stuff and they were looking for something that was stolen, but you know what? I know for a fact that I remember seeing Mrs. Harris's, her shirt was untucked. And I knew what had gone on because he had lipstick, just a little bit. They were boning in there. And I think they were boning, I'm gonna be honest, on that towel that I threw to Josh. I threw it to him because it was sitting there. 
There was something on him. I just chucked it at him. He used it to dry off. I don't know. He didn't have a towel. I had mine. I always, I always carried my towel with me because no one's going to do anything to my towel. Okay? You need protection in that. But I'm just saying, it gave me a new realization now that those teachers are dirty mother. They are sleeping with each other. They're partying. They're crazy. They're burning people's houses down. Had I watched this when I was a kid in public education, I probably would have ceased screwing with them at, at all costs. And I would have been an unbelievable D student at that point. Bottom line, go check it out. Vice Principals on HBO. It's an 8 out of 10 for me. I really enjoyed it. It was, it was a great series all the way through, and I'm excited to see the second season. If you've seen Vice Principals, let me know in the comments. I'm, a, I'm interested to see how many people are actually watching this show. Peppermint candies are great. And after watching this review, you're probably like, man, I want a peppermint candy. But you probably don't have one. So you just probably should just subscribe and comment and do all that stuff. And look, if you have a question, you want something reviewed, hit me up. I'm your bro.